behind the scenes with her, the skipper. Just want to be like Troy. <laughs> Come on, boys, how are we feeling today, then, gentlemen? Oh, All three. This has got to be excellent. It's the biggest day as well. 100% bro. Wow. <laughs> I'm normally in some ropey changing yeah, rooms on, on the manor somewhere, so. Tell me about it. Tell me yeah. about it. It's not a bad upgrade okay. though, is it? <laughs> Gondola! <laughs> <laughs> Looks official. We say it's better than being on the manor in some skanky changing room, DP. Uh, it's proper, this is, man. Not long till you're back then, kid. Uh, How you feeling? Missing it, missing it. But you know what? Good to see you though, kid. Yeah. What are they saying on recovery, oh? Minimum eight months. You know, you got age on your side though, but you got plenty of time, man. Yeah. How you feeling? Moving a little bit more? I know. Alright, you flash. Take it, sir. Well, let it be known, they wouldn't have been here without your contribution <laughs> anyway, bro. So. Oh, not as slow as you think. Come on, bro. Like I said that there, but pure hard work. Our quality is second to none. 
in this team, in this squad, we've got quality all over. Anyone on the bench could be starting. Anyone starting could be on the bench. We've got a sick team. But listen, our hard work today is what's going to make us win the game. We get us through the game for one. And it's going to make us win the game. That press in the midfield, we've got to keep it up. Oh, a couple of games we've been doing now. The press that you've had, obviously when you've been there, pressing one. Yeah. The last couple of games, you've been pressing high up the pitch. We've got to keep that intensity up. Yeah. We've got to press on. We can't just be letting one of them run off us or anything like that. And if we do let them run them through, we communicate and talk. Yeah? yeah? And then the quality after that just, just comes naturally to you boys. It comes naturally to you. So play your football. That's all we've got to do, play our football. When we get the ball, we play our football. Seems an absolute, there's a danger up there, isn't it? Probably the danger up there. Fucking lose. Eh? We've got a fucking team full of goal scorers and a fucking team full of fucking winners at the end of the day. So work hard, play our game of football, we win the fucking game. We know, Marcel, obviously. Also, that's probably having kids or whatever coming to different chapters of our lives. So let's just make this one a little memory for all of us. So when yeah, we, we spoke each other on the road and we all down, we talk about this, man. Yeah, so let's just do this. Yeah, Yes, yes, people, welcome back to Sunday League Settings with myself, Big Faza. Now, this week, we've got a massive one. Semi-finals of the Nationals between AFC Hackleton from Northampton taking on Trooper FC, representing Birmingham. Now, let's have me chatty patty patty and let's get straight into the action. Free kick to the Hackleton boys to be taken by Calvin Green, whipped into the mixer, headed away there by the troops back line, no further than the skipper, who puts it all over the bar. Now a massive shout out to my partner in crime as always, Braz from the No Techers podcast. Now as we get back into the action, both teams mixing it in the centre of the park. Try to release Sim on his left hand side, but Will deals with it, sees it back home to the keeper, not the best clearance. Louis tries to bring it under control, but he's under some immense pressure. Neither team can get a hold of it at this point, and Rowley sees it back home to Tom, and the troops start again. Open a couple of minutes of the game, and the Hackleton boys trying to play the ball out from the back, but Louis Hayden with a high press, nicking the ball off the Hackleton skipper into Alex Tompkinson, who goes and wins himself a free kick. From that resulting free kick, you got Sim Colborn standing over it. Lofts it towards the edge of the 18 yard box, but Blue McNeil gets his head on it and sees it out. And as you fast forward a couple of minutes, that Trooper FC high press is on once again with Chrissy Cowley not giving that back line a sniff. Ball picked up in front of the camera by Eddie Panta, who's always going to try to take on his man. Ellis Dini giving him a little bit of respect. Panta managed to skip around him, tries to whip it into the mixer. But Cam Lee's playing no ID, no entry. If your name's like that, you're not coming in. Now, from that resulting throw in, Hackleton are known for their set pieces. Now, there's a decent throw in tossed into the box. Rowley managed to get his head on it, sticks it out from a corner. From that resulting corner kick, he's whipped into the mixer. Headed away there, first of all, by Ellis Deeney. Cam Lee tries to get the second head on it. But credit where it's due to Jarvis, number nine, doing the business up top for the Hackleton boys, putting his body about and making himself a nuisance. <laughs> Approximately 10 minutes played of the game so far. Rowley sprays the ball out to this left hand side into Sim Colborn. He's always going to try to take his man on and get his shot away. Drags it wide though. Now 
Now as the atmosphere starts to heat up on the terraces, as we get back into the action, another long ball there by the Hackleton boys, doubted by Ellis Dini, out to Jarvis, he makes a hash of his shot. Just under 30 minutes played at this point and the ball spread out to this right hand side, into Panta, he's going to try to take on Ellis Dini, but he managed to stick a foot in and pull that from the corner. Calvin Green standing over this corner kick, whips it into the mixer once again, two hands on it by Tom, bounces out no further than a skipper for the Hackleton boys, Joel Malkin, who recycles it back into Calvin, tries to whip it on the right foot this time, off Ellis Dini, out front of the corner. Calvin whips another decent ball into the mixer, headed out there by Cam Lee, no further than Panta, who helps it on towards goal, and that's easy pickings for Tom. Ball over on that far side with Bloom with Neil. He believes he should have a free kick here, but the referee waves it on. Still early sparring from both teams. 17 minutes on the clock at this point, and the ball picked up on his left hand side by Bowen. Plays inside to Alex Tomkinson. Credit where it's due to the Hackleton boys to get in and around them, putting the pressure on Louis, and the pass looking for Sim is intercepted. Now, rumour has it Cam Lee will head of a microwave if it's thrown into the air, but I guess a ball will do. Now in the latest episode and now you see it, now you don't, now you see it, now you don't. Just under 20 minutes played and no clear cut chances for either side up until this point. Bowen picking up the ball and stepping out of defence with it, plays into Sim Colborne, who's looking to chip on into Chrissy Cowley, but that's intercepted there by Will and the Hackleton boys start again. 20 minutes on the clock and Ellis Dini welcoming Panther to the game. Now you got Calvin standing over his free kick once again. His deliveries on that left foot have been decent so far. Whipped into the mixer. Cam Lee heads it away. Tomkinson gets the seconds on it. No further than Blue, who helps it back into the mixer. But once again, that's easy pickings for Tom. Fast forward a couple of minutes. Panta peels off the shoulder of Ellis Dini. Managed to round Tom. But how about this for a block on the line by Ellis? Decent chance for the Hackleton boys, and as they go back up the other end, Rowley sprays the ball out to this left hand side into Sim Colborne, who's hugging the touchline. Great control and touch to get around his man, get time to get his head up, pulls it back to Alex Tomkinson, he puts it well over the bar. Massive shout out to both sets of supporters who definitely added to the occasion. Now as you get back into the action, ball centre of the part laid off there by Sim Colborne into Alex Tomkinson. Bowen picks up the ball just in front of the camera, tries to drive it back inside, but Charlie Green's there to put it out for a throw in. Twenty-six minutes into the game at this point, and a throw into the troops on that right hand side, headed on there by Chrissy Cowley. Dax tries to get his body on it. Little bit of head tennis, but once again it's recycled and picked up here by Alex Tomkinson. Sprays a lovely ball out to that right hand side into Rowley, who helps it on towards the back post. El Steamy rises, can't get the purchase on his header. Now I must admit I was enjoying the little battle between Camley and Jarvis for the Hackleton boys up until this point. Ball picked up by Bowen in front of the camera once again, looking for the diag for that right hand side to Chrissy Cowley. But how about this with some cool, calm and composed defending by McNeil. Louis into Ellis Dini, he's looking for options in front of him but there's lack of movement in all honesty so he goes route one looking for Sim but Will deals with it easy enough. 
Now, just under 30 minutes played at this point, AFC Hackleton on the attack on that left-hand side, decent ball whipped into the mixer, but Cam Lee sees it out. No further than Dan Porter, who recycles it back out into Panthers' feet. Overlapping run there by Charlie Green, whips it into the mixer, but Louis heads it away. 31 minutes on the referee's watch at this point. Ball intercepted here by Chrissy Cowley. Gets his head up. Lovely lofted pass over the top into Sim Colborne. Takes it out of his feet into his stride. Gets his head up. Slots it into the back of the only bag to make it 1 0 to the troops. Just under 33 played, AFC Hackleton nil, Trooper FC won. Now as we fast forward a couple of minutes, decent footwork here by Charlie Green to get away from his man, but Lewis Hayden just reminds him he's in a game. From that resulting free kick, Calvin Green whips another decent ball into the mixer, but Cam Lee, as he always is, is there to put his head on it. 39 minutes in, Lewis Hayden doing a doggy work central of the park, gets his head up, sees the runner Chrissy Cowley, plays a lovely ball into him, now, Chrissy Cowley, if he gets his head up and lays in Sim Colborne, might have an opportunity to double their lead, but it is decent defended by the Hackleton boys who come away with it. Just under five minutes of regular time in his first half yet to play. Little bit of head tennis on that right hand side, but it results in Dax playing the ball through to Sim Colborne, who's got the legs to keep the ball inside the 18 yard box. He's always going to try and get his shot away, drops the shoulder. Decent save there by the keeper to tip it around the post. Now Sim standing over that resulting corner kick, whips it into the mixer, but that's easy pickings for Lewis. <laughs> Referee putting Kyle Rowley into the book for delaying the free kick. Now from that resulting free kick, Chrissy Cowley whips it into the mixer, dealt with there by Calvin Green and the Hackleton boys to clear their lines. Into the dying embers of his first staff, Chrissy Cowley plays the ball through to that right hand side into Danico Johnson. Tries to whip it into the mixer, defended well enough, corner kick. Now if it's not broke, you don't fix it and it's right hand side for the Hackleton boys has definitely been their outlet as Panta goes and wins himself another full kick. From that resulting free kick, it is whipped into the mixer once again, but Rowley gets his head on it and Sim Colborne clears his lines. Normally on SLS, the strikers and midfielders get all the plaudits, but this tackle here by Charlie Green has got to be commended. Added time at the end of the 90 as Sim Colborne whips another corner kick into the mixer, headed on there by Cam Lee, but nothing comes of it and the Hackleton boys clear their lines.
Now with the referee moments away from blowing his half-time whistle up, we are going to go into the break of the semi-finals of the Nationals. AFC Hackleton nil, Trooper FC 1-0. Now with them half-time team talks done and dusted, let's get the second half underway then. Open a couple of minutes of the second half and Bowen lofts the ball into the path of Danico Johnson. He heads it into the path of Sim. He gets his shot away first time. That's a decent save by the keeper. Come flying out the blocks the troops have in the second half as Bowen sprays another ball out to this right hand side into Sim Colborne. Tries to play it first time into Chrissy Cowley, but he does recycle it. Plenty of time to get his head up. Alex Tompkinson lending himself as a bit of support. Lewis Hayden trying to play off the shoulder. Plays it through to Sim Colborne. Decent turn, but fair play to Will. He managed to clear his lines. No further than Chrissy Cowley. Moves it back into the mixer. Under the head of Dax. That's a decent save once again. From that resulting corner kick whipped in there by Sim Colborne, Lewis gets two hands on it. No further than Danico Johnson, who's got plenty of time to turn on it. He's gonna take his man down the line. Now it's a cross, comes shot, and that's easy pickings for Lewis in goal. Fast forward a couple of minutes now as we go back up the other end. Ball whipped into the mixer. Dan Porter glances ahead towards goal. Jarvis gets his shot away, and that's blocked on the line there by Rowley. Now it's a decent start to the second half by both teams as easily the troops could have doubled their lead down one end and Hackleton could have drawn level at the other. 52 minutes on the referee's watch at this point. Louis looking for Sim, but Louis is off his line early doors. Now we've got to induct Sim Colborne into the nice seat. Now you don't Hall of Fame, because now you see it, now you don't. Lovely chest control to take it away from Charlie Green and as he sizes up his man gets his shot away Great tip over the bar by Lewis in goal Now from that resulting corner kick Chrissy Cowley standing over that one of a left peg looking for Ellis Dean at the front post but the Hackleton boys clear their lines Now it wouldn't be the semi-final of the Nationals if there wasn't a few handbags thrown in as well Results in both skippers being put in the referee's little black book Oh, 
from that resulting free kick is dealt with well enough by Chrissy Cowley at the front post and is there to pick up the seconds to clear his lines. Just under 60 minutes played and Cam Lee still playing no ID, no entry. If your name's not down, you're not coming in. Fast forward a couple of minutes, free kick to the Hackleton boys just inside their own half to be taken by Will, whips it into the mixer. Headed away there by Cam Lee. Ellie Steen is there for the seconds, but the referee blows up for a foul. Now it has taken up until this part of the second half for the Lionels to get involved. And yep, there we have it. Lionels got his ruler out. Straight as an arrow. Now over on that far side, Cam Lee still checking people's IDs. Sixty-five minutes on the referee's watch. Alex Tomkinson sending Sim Colborne on the run down the channel. Always going to size up his man to try and get his shot away. But it's his decent hold-up play by Will to stick his foot in. The troops still manage to recycle it and come away with the seconds. Alex helps it on towards goal, headed away. Picked up there by Dax once again. Just coming into camera shot, you've got Ellis Dini. Going to get the ball back on that left peg of his. Drives it towards the edge of the six-yard box. Punched away once again by Lewis. Dax, give me a cross, Dax. Times all day. 68 minutes on the referee's watch. Sim Colborne managed to ride a couple of tackles. Still in possession of the ball. Alex Tompkinson's lending himself as a bit of support. Plays it into him. Now gives it back to Sim. He's going to take his man on a little run. Managed to get the ball across the six yard box. But there's nobody there to tap it in. And I did say earlier, it wouldn't be the Nationals without a couple of 50-50s thrown in there. That's that coming up next, that is. Free kick to the Hackleton boys, whipped into the 18-yard box once again, but dealt with well enough by the trooper back line. Yeah. 73 minutes on the clock as we welcome Corey Burke to the party and as we get back into the action another long throw tossed into the mixer goes out for a good kick fast forward a couple of minutes and keeper Lewis lumps one up the field decent flick on here by Malkin into the path of Porter, who plays out to that right hand side. Charlie Green managed to get it under control, back onto his left foot, crosses it into the box, under the head of Panther. That's a decent save by Tom. Now, ball picked up on his right hand side by Corey Burke. He's got a couple of men in and around him. He's always going to drop the shoulder, whip it into the mixer, under the head of Alex Tompkinson. Puts it over the bar. Eighty-one minutes in, we welcome Kyle Burke to the party. Gets involved straight away by taking one to the face. Throwing to be taken just in front of the camera by Blue McNeil. Laid off there by Porter, but there's nobody there to pick up his pass. Cam Lee intercepts it, puts one over that back line. But I will say this is decent defending by Will to put Sim Colborne off. Fast forward a couple of minutes with just under six minutes of normal time to play in the second half. Ball whipped in onto the head of Webster. Comes off the post. Six minutes on the clock at this point. 
Now Kyle Burke plays a ball inside here to Alex Tomkinson, lays it up first time into Sim Colborne, into the path of Corey Burke, who rounds the keeper and puts it wide. Chances coming thick and fast at both ends as you welcome number 20, Jamie Hall, to the party. Now as we go back up the other end, another long throw from the Hackleton boys. That was a up by that trooper back line as they see it out for another throw in. You know what's coming. Another long throw in tossed into the box. That with just enough by the trooper back line breaks the Jarvis. Puts it well over the bar. 89 minutes on the referee's watch at this point. Cowley plays into Alex Tomkinson, but he loses possession of it. Calvin Green picks up the spares, gets it onto that right foot, tries to play it into the channel, headed away there by Cam Lee. Ellis Dini can't bring it under control. Jamie Hall helps it on over to that back line. The Trooper boys allow it to bounce. Jarvis plays into the path of Panther, back of the young young back to make it 1 1. Absolute limbs on the terraces and scenes in the dugout as the AFC Hackleton boys make it all square. Two minutes have added on time indicated by the fourth official as the true Pref C boys have got a corner kick whipped into the mixer but Lewis sees it out for a throw in. Now it's time for the Trooper FC boys to wind the long throwing into the box. Punched away there by Lewis in goal. No further than Chris Cowley. He puts it well over the bar. And you know me by now people. Nothing I love more than a couple of lads battling for the badge right in front of the camera. Now over on that far side, there's just enough time left for the AFC Hackleton boys to launch another throwing into the box. That with one enough by the troop of that line, it's a corner kick. Now it's last chance saloon from this corner kick to the AFC Hackleton boys as he's whipped into the mixer. Jarvis helps it on towards goal, but that's easy for Tom. Now with the referee moments away from blowing his final whistle, the game is going to end one apiece in the semi-finals of the FA Sunday Cup, which means we're going to end the game on penalty kicks. Now one big fazza, this is Sunday League settings, thanks for having me.
now at this point people what can you say One for no words, bro. Yeah. I fucking quality boys. As we go around the grounds. As we have a look at both of the tables, NSA definitely flying the flag and on course for promotion and winning the league. And in the Premier Division, it's all to play for as we get to the business end of the season. Now respect people, myself Big Fazza on behalf of Sunday League settings, like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video, bless up. <laughs>